Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. There's a meme about a math problem that a lot of people are talking about on Reddit. Here's a post from three months ago on math memes where the person posted, I don't get it. So Mary has two children. She tells you that one is a boy born on a Tuesday. What's the probability the other child is a girl? That's right, it's 66.6%. And then the clarification comes in that it's actually 51.8%. The same meme has been posted in Reddit they did the math two months ago, wondering how do they get these numbers? And it was recently posted in Reddit explain the joke. Shouldn't the odds be 50%? Why is it 51.8%? So I want to carefully go through the calculation and explain where all of these numbers come from. So let's just get started with the very basic problem. Let's just say that Mary has two children. She tells you that one is a boy. What is the probability the other child is a girl? We will begin the calculation by enumerating the equally likely outcomes. So the first child is assumed to equally likely be a boy or a girl. The second child is also equally likely to be a boy or a girl. So if we put these possibilities together, there are four equally likely outcomes. Boy, 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 girl, girl, boy, and girl, girl. But we know that one of the children is a boy. So we can eliminate one of these equally likely outcomes. It is girl, girl. This is not possible because at least one of the children is a boy. So what remains is three equally likely outcomes in which two of the cases, one of the children is a girl. So the probability we have a girl given that at least one child is a boy is two out of three or 66.6%. This is the famous boy or girl paradox and a person who hears this problem initially would think that, sure, I get it, it's a trick question. I know the answer is 66.6%. But we have not calculated the entire premise of the question. The entire premise is involving a boy born on a Tuesday. So how could this detail actually change the probability? Well, that's the wild thing about conditional probability calculations. They often go against our instincts and intuition completely. So let's see how this little detail of the boy being born on a Tuesday changes the probability calculation. We will again begin with a set of equally likely outcomes. We know that if at least one of two children is a boy, there are three cases to consider. BB, BG, or GB. Let's now put a day of the week for each child. So let's say we have a subscript of zero to mean a child was born on Sunday, a subscript of one to mean a child was born on Monday, and two to mean Tuesday, and so on, where six will be Saturday. So when we have two boys, it could be the case that the second boy was born on a Tuesday, and the first boy could be born on any of the other seven days of the week. So we can enumerate seven possibilities. But it could be the case that the first boy was born on a Tuesday and the second boy was born on any of the other days of the week. So we have Sunday, Monday, and now look at this. We have B2, B2, but we cannot list this event again because we have already listed it in the first column. So we will remove this event. So we go ahead and enumerate all of the other possible days of the week that the second boy could be born. So in this column, we just have six different events because we've already enumerated B2, B2. In the case of BG, the boy must be born on a Tuesday and the girl could be born on any of the seven days of the week. In the case of GB, the boy is born on a Tuesday and the girl is born on any of the seven days of the week. We have now enumerated all of the equally likely outcomes. So what is the probability the other child is a girl given that at least one boy is born on a Tuesday. So let's take a look at the entire sample space. We have a total of how many events? We have four columns where each column has seven different rows, but the second column is missing one of the entries. 
So we have four times seven, which is 28, minus one, which gives us a total of 27 equally likely events. In how many of these events is there a girl? That will be the last two columns, and this is a total of 14 different events. So the probability we have a girl with at least one boy that's born on a Tuesday is going to be 14 divided by 27, which equals 51.8%. And that's why the calculation works to 51.8% in this probability. It's a very unusual outcome that knowing that the boy is born on a Tuesday actually brings it much closer to a 50% chance. Just to illustrate this in one more way, we could show all of the equally likely outcomes in a table. Let's say we have the first child that's either a boy or girl born on any of the seven days of the week. And we have the second child that's either a boy or a girl born on any of the seven days of the week. Now the third row corresponds to a boy being born on a Tuesday and the third column corresponds to a boy being born on a Tuesday. If we count these check marks, there will be a total of 27 check marks. I have highlighted the cells in yellow where we have a girl. And if you count all of those, there will be 14 different cells. So from this table, you can see that the probability that there's a girl given at least one boy is born on a Tuesday is 14 over 27 or 51.8%. And that's the answer to this surprising probability puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.